Welcome back to We're Not Really Here. I'm Natalie Pavalek and I'm joined by Kyle Walker, Sean Gota and David James. And that is it. 1-0 City win in what was a brilliant win and a solid defensive display. And most importantly, David James gets the fantasy points for having Edison <laughs> in goal. David, you must be made up. I, why didn't they pass it to Carl Walker at the end there for him to score? <laughs> that would have been perfect, yeah, right? Mate, I was asking for too much. But yeah, fa fantastic. Three points. Excellent. I mean, Alistair Mann said during the, the commentary there that they they had to show that they could do the ugly stuff and they had to defend and they did that. Southampton did push them back at times, but Manchester City dug deep, Sean. Very, well, it's a great display uh, defensively, but we've got three points. That's the most important thing. Yeah, Southampton's a really good team right now in how they're playing. And again, to, to go away with the clean sheet, Sometimes you're more happy with walking away with a clean sheet than a win. So whether you score one nil, two nil, City will be pleased with this because again they can look now and start to build from from clean sheets. Um, Stones uh, and Diaz partnership looks good, solid. Uh, Cancelo, Cancelo obviously bombing down the right hand side, left hand side, and same with Walker. Just pleased with the clean sheet. N not a lot of chances, but again there were there were times when. Uh, we could have produced perhaps that second goal. We could have produced that second goal, but I think Pep will go away and Pep will be I'm pleased with the clean sheet. Seven clean sheets in the last eight games now. And of course, that, that goal, um, goal that we conceded against West Brom, so just one goal conceded in eight games as well. And um, it was really, as Sean was saying, a really great defensive performance, David. Now, I don't actually remember Edison having a sh that many much to do. Oh, yeah, the, I remember the save in the first half. Um, but second half, there, there was a few scrambles, but you're going to expect that. And then uh, this is the thing. I mean, Southampton, again, when I think sort of beginning of that second half, the, the press wasn't quite there from City and then Southampton creating those sort of half chances. But as you saw towards the end, as I rightly said in commentary, when City started pressing, it was causing all sorts of problems. And it was, it, was, it was so good to see because there was, there was energy in the side all the way through, i.e. from the defence going forward. It was good. I will burst your bubble a little bit, David. I'm sorry to do this. Edison got a yellow card for time-wasting at the end. So that, that's minus points in fantasy. So I'm so, I'm so sorry about I can so, see the pain in your, yeah, your eyes. I'm thinking but... they really should have passed to Carl Walker. Yeah, yeah. they should have uh, <laughs> uh, uh, as well. But then we'll go into a more positive note. I mean, the three points is so important. Moves up to fifth in the league. Got that game in hand as well. There's plenty of football action to, to go ahead this weekend as well. But we're climbing up the table. We're going to stay positive. It's not seven goals. It's one. But three points, fifth. That's what Pep wanted. That's what Pep wanted, and that's what Pep got. Listen, we get the clean sheet, we get, we score, we get the three points. We're looking at, at performances. I thought Bernardo, Bernardo Silva started to come a little bit into his game. There was a, a situation where he, I thought he should have shot. Um, but in saying that his game, I thought was a little bit more to what we're used to seeing with Bernardo Silva. Because previously, what we thought worst of Bernardo Silva we saw, a season, you know, a season ago, but I thought he's starting to come back a bit to himself. So I was really pleased with his performance as well. Yeah, I thought Bernardo had had a great game, and Morris looked sharp when he came on as well. Of course, there was that point where we were all shouting "shoo, shoo," <laughs> and it happened a few times. David, what did you make of that? Yeah, well, I mean, the, the good thing is as well as talking about the press and the say that this is where the energy throughout the side was good. Um, the fact that McCarthy's making saves. You know, Gundawan with a shot in the top corner. Uh, there was a, there was another save a little bit later on. The fact that City were getting to, oh, Bernardo Silva's shot, which wasn't, I think I could have saved that with my broken hand, <laughs> but, but the reality is that they're getting in a position, I think you said this before the game, to be in a position to not even score, but get shots is better than not being in a position at all. And City were creating those positions. As you said, when Edison's not making saves at one end, McCarthy is at the other. That means that City were dominant. And it was uh, overall three points. As I say, it didn't need to be 5 nil. one nil's enough. one nil's happy. I used to love, from a goalkeeper's perspective, obviously, a one nil scoreline because it keeps everyone a little bit excited till the end. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it, for me, I, I think it's a, it's a big win, you know, because Southampton, mm. their form, you know, Danny Ings goes off, that, that obviously plays into our hands. He obviously couldn't score his 50th if he was looking to. Pleased with that. Sorry about that, Danny Ings. But <laughs> it is what it is. But again, this is a big win because, again, Southampton, their form and how they're playing, uh, they'll go on and beat a lot of teams. You know, the way he's got them playing, uh, sort of the game plan a little bit and trying to expose our fullbacks when they go forward. Um, Theo Walcott is on good form. So 
I, I, when I look at this and reflect, I think I'll take the one nil walk away three points because they'll take points of other team of other teams. Yeah, and we've seen that so far this season as well. The beautiful football is great. The fast passing is beautiful. The press is, is incredible at times. But sometimes you just want the grit and determination to, to grind out a 1-0 win because that is what champions do. That is what we've seen over the years that champions will win 1-0. They'll get late uh, goals to win games and make sure they're getting the three points. That's the important thing. And we've seen that determination from City today, David. Yeah, you need both sides of it, definitely. And like today, I think the conditions were playing a lot into the game because of the, the amount of rain that was coming down. But to see the, the fast passes, the, the clean passes, we saw that at times. And as you say, we saw the grit and determination from everybody. I mean, again, you look at the scoreline, 1-0 sounds close, but it wasn't as close as that scoreline suggests. All the work was put in. And you could say, I mean, I love watching Pep on the sideline because you know, the chance misses and he's all over the place. And you're thinking, well, he thinks they could. I, I didn't feel like the City, uh, City were going to lose this lead. Obviously, he felt it. He's, he knows as a manager that can happen. But um, I, I think that was a good, good performance, as Sean said, against side in third place, which is important. I think when we reflect about it as well, it's like we've been spoiled because we, we're still used to seeing, you know, four, five, yeah. six goals. And when you, when you get a one nil, sometimes you're thinking, well, why haven't we scored three? Why haven't we scored four? <laughs> you know, the last time I, I'm trying to think, the last time City managed the game, we saw De Bruyne again in the corner you know, in the last 90 seconds of a game. The last time we saw City manage a game like that. And, I, and he actually could have taken the opportunity to probably assist somebody with his left foot. But he said, no, no, I'll go in the corner, which is brilliant management. Mm -hmm. Because, again, it's not about winning 5 nil. It's you know, 5 or 6. Sometimes it's about getting a 1 nil win, get the three points. The next game, you know, because of the confidence and everything, you then go in that game three or four nil. So the management of it is brilliant. We've just been blessed with the football that Pep's brought us and to be able to see so many great results that we're like, sometimes we're like, one nil? Why haven't we scored two or three? <laughs> but I'll, it's a brilliant result. I'll take the three points 100%. Um, a man we weren't blessed with seeing today was Sergio Aguero. Obviously, he was on the yeah. bench. Do you think, Sean, perhaps we were keeping him keeping him on the bench with an eye on the quarterfinal game on Tuesday and the amount of games that we've got coming up? And obviously, that quarterfinal game is, is, is so big and is so important. Yes, I, I think exactly that. Because I, I, there was a point when I thought, you know, if Sergio comes on, he'll get you, he'll, he'll bring him on for 30 minutes. But then my mind started to think, well, okay, who, who have we got next? And as you say, these, these are big games. So I imagine that Sergio will play a huge part in that because we know that Pep loves to win the League Cup. Um, this is just, he puts strong teams out. He goes for it. And, and as we've seen over the last few seasons, he tends to win them. So I think Sergio is being rested for that. And, uh, we all look forward to him being back. Well, the other side is we're, we could be glad that actually we play a game, win a game, clean sheet, and we haven't used Sergio because we're getting all sorts of injuries. You see him with other clubs as well, teams that you're thinking, guys are just getting injured left, right, and centre. Yeah, they, they definitely were. And we knew that December was going to be relentless. And it was nine or ten games throughout this entire month. And looking ahead, we've got Arsenal on Tuesday. Then it's Newcastle on Boxing Day. Then the 28th, it's Everton. And then it starts again in January. We know it's relentless, but it's nice that you can get the wins. You can grind them out with Sergio Aguero on the bench. You can bring Mares on as well halfway through the game. That is what is so good about having the, the strength and depth that Manchester City have, David. Absolutely. I mean, I think from the point of lots of games, and uh, it's often said in commentary, but players just love playing. You know, for them, more games are better, arguably, um, obviously without the injuries. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be at Arsenal on Tuesday. I'm going. Jealous. Oh, very jealous. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm tier four now, apparently. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but I'll still be there. I'll be doing some commentary, uh, supporting Man City, of course. So uh, hopefully Sergio plays. Um, as Sean, Sean hopefully predicts correctly that he'll have a large part in that game and get to see the depth again, um, winning, winning games for Man City. So, yeah, look forward to that. Of course, Arsenal are struggling a little bit at the minute, right down in the other end of the table. Mm -hmm. um, we played them earlier in the season when, when um, they, or, uh, do you know what, they all merged into one when they beat us last year in the, in the semi-finals um, of the FA Cup. Is that my memory yeah, that doing right. me yeah, okay? Yeah. They're blurring into one, but obviously they, they are having a struggle this season. What are you expecting on Tuesday night? Well, I think if, if City do what they did at the beginning of this game against Southampton, Arsenal are weaker, a, a weak side who could crumble. Um, but then what they did do today, which I didn't like, was step off the gas a little bit and allow Southampton a bit more into the game in that first half. If they can keep the pressure on Arsenal, I think they'll crumble. Um, I can't see anything else 
Yeah. Famous last words uh, <laughs> no, right there. I, but I can't say, as I said before the game, Southampton and Arsenal are two sides who are at the moment vulnerable. Um, Man City did a very good job on Southampton today in tough conditions, as I say, because of the weather. We could repeat this on Tuesday against Arsenal. Nice win. Now, uh, another man that's going to crumble is Sean Gota right here. When, <laughs> when he finds out that he got the, the mystery blue completely wrong. It was none of the, the guesses that he did. And you guys at home, you, you've been getting in touch as well using that hashtag WNRH. We can have another look at it, I think, just now. Now, we were trying to guess who this was right here. And I can say none of us in the studio got it right. All of us were wrong with all of our guesses. And you guys at home, you've been trying to guess who it was as well. Carl Sproston, uh, he says, I think it's Kolarov. He joined me in my guess. We're both wrong, Carl. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh -uh. Sophie <laughs> said, I have no idea. Ha, ha, ha. She's laughing at herself because she got it wrong as well. Zhao Cancelo, who, David, you were going to change yours to Zhao. Was that, was I that think right? My, yeah? th when we're talking about it, I've yeah. probably said about seven or eight different players it was wrong it was wrong it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, matter uh, then uh, at big tweets uh, it says gotta be collar of no another one that joined me i'm sorry for leading you down the wrong path you were uh, wrong uh, as well uh, 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 the mamata says uh, that looks like alano no it's wrong i'm uh, sorry uh, it is wrong right there uh, and then also uh, derek uh, brannigan says uh, david white no, it wasn't David White. Uh, I'm sorry. So uh -uh. we all got that one wrong. This is the, the first time that nobody's actually managed to get it right. So we're going to make it special, aren't we? We've got something up here, okay? We've heard of Elf on the Shelf. Have you ever heard of a Fabian Elf right there? We, we can see on the, the beautiful uh, FaZe Clan, um, yeah, FaZe Clan hoodie right there. That can be yours, okay? <laughs> after we roll it over on Tuesday, we don't need it after Tuesday's game because Christmas is gone, all right? So we're going to get you some goodies. We're going to get you Fabian Elf right there. And, uh, yeah, if you get it right on Tuesday, we'll roll it over. That could be yours uh, to win. I mean, yeah, very interesting. Anyway, we're going to stop here. We're going to listen to uh, Pep Guardiola with his thoughts after today's game against Southampton. Let's hear what he has to say. With Jonathan Pierce for match of the day. Well, very well done because that was a, a difficult afternoon for you to face and it was a very mature uh, Manchester City side, I think I saw there. Yeah. Mature because we won. <laughs> always always after win or lose, they have to to put the performance. The performance is quite similar that we have done, so we don't have our momentum up front. I know so the way they play, so we cannot expect not suffering the free kicks. They have the best ticket I've ever seen in my life with war pros and um, the quality they play so Ralph is in, in, an excellent manager we had a third in the position the table we knew we were suffer but the second half we had our momentum to score a goal and we didn't do it and after that always you suffer so you had the feeling we're going to suffer this season all in these terms but uh, a part of this happy to the to the way we played it, was it my imagination or did you change things a little bit they were playing those big diagonal balls from Vestergaard away uh, to Walker Peters. Did you change things a little bit and put Raheem? But it's difficult, but they put a lot of players inside. So two strikers, Walcott, the other wing are so inside, they provoke you to be narrow our back four and they attack with the wing with the full backs outside. And and Vestergaard is an excellent player for the count, for the take a decision one against two, the long balls. It's difficult to press. They put and after that, so they they they, they play four players here and a lot of players there and they don't this don't avoid don't allow you to be compact that's why they are so good so they they separate your team in both sides and they play a lot of players inside where Romeo is an exceptional player and that's why create a problems in any team so but uh, yeah it's a good result for us for our mood uh, I think it's going to help us now going to Carabao Cup but especially next one Newcastle and Everton and Chelsea will dictate a little bit who we are you're not far away, are you? I mean, if you look at the table at this stage of the season, it might suggest something else, but you're not far away, are you? If you keep it defensively... Defensively, are excellent. Yeah. Last season, we were the team who scored more goals in the Premier League. This season is not going to happen. But last season, we struggled a lot, defensive point, but the back four, Ruben helped us a lot. 
to have stability. So John, the last game is exceptional. So Kyle is back and, and Joao, he set up perfect. So yeah, it's good. And uh, yeah, now continue to play more, more, more to try to, you know, to create more chances and score goals. The crowd was back today. Yeah. Not your fans, but important. I said before, so it's much, much better. So I'm jealous for Southampton club because they can have supporters we cannot. So, but every everyone is agreed that we would love to have, you know, people back in the stadium. But the people all around the world is dying for 100, 300 people every day for the COVID-19, for this pandemic. So be careful. We have to be alert. Social distance, masks, because it's not solved. It's really not solved. We would love to have anything at the stadium, our people, or well, at least 2,000. Not even we can't. So, so yeah, uh, wait. Uh, situation is going to fix and, and come back. Well, to all those people and to yourself, I can't say in Catalan, but I can't say Felipe Navidad. Bon Nadal. Oh, bon Nadal. In Catalan, it's Bon Nadal. All I can say is Vas a la Playa, which means go to the beach. <laughs> Wrong time. Here in the beach is difficult. Yeah. <laughs> right. All the best. See you later. Buon Nadal. I, I think I said it right. I think that, that must wow. be Merry Christmas. Uh, is it? Is that? It? I don't know, but well, I'm repeating what Pep said uh, right there. That's Pep Guardiola after today's 1-0 win against Southampton. I mean, he always gives so much respect to so many teams. His footballing brain doesn't ever seem to switch off, David. And I guess that, that's what makes him one of the best managers in the world. Uh, exactly what I said before. I love listening to him before the uh, pre-match and post-match because what he talks about is so much detail about how Southampton were making him do this, making him do that. And you think why the manager is allowing us to know what he's thinking about, how he's preparing or how to deal with the game. But he does it because he knows he's got the capability of being the best team in the country. So, um, fantastic manager. Oh, love listening to him. He was in such a great mood there. You enjoyed listening to that, didn't you, Sean? I did, because again, their, de their detail, as David's saying, you know, going into saying, well, you know, how they are and there's diagonal balls that we had, we had spoken about and mentioned uh, and saying how it's, it doesn't allow City to, to stay compact, because City wants to stay compact once winning the ball to then, you know, spring attacks or keep possession. But again, just hearing the detail, I'm, I'm like David, you know, I'm just like... <laughs> they were. <laughs> give me that knowledge, give they me that were. knowledge. Yeah. That's exactly what they looked like. Yeah. But uh, yes, thank you so much again. <laughs> David, your first show, How have you enjoyed it and will you come back? Loved it. And will I, if you invite me back, of course. Of, yeah, uh, yes. as long as you, you tell us through your fantasy team beforehand <laughs> so I can put whoever yeah. you're on and your prediction. And if as, you... long as, as long as I get the uh, guest, the player right, so I can win Fabian the Elf. De okay, you <laughs> made it even better. You made it even better right That there. deserves a welcome back. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Easy. I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm sure we can find a spare one for you to put on your Christmas tree. We had, we had tree. another one here, didn't we? We do. We do. It's falling down. You can have that one, David. We all say, I'm sorry, guys, that, uh, that in the gallery, we've not said that. You, you, you heard it. that. You can have it. You've heard it. That's yeah. nice. Merry That's Christmas nice. From, from us to you. But thank you so much for My joining pleasure. us. Thanks and Sean, it's always a pleasure. You're, I love watching football with you and Kyle as well. Thank you so much. Kel is back on Tuesday night for We're Not Really Here in the quarterfinals of our trophy. We love the League Cup. Now, let, let you into a little secret. All I asked for Christmas was three points today and a place in the semi-finals. So come on, Santa. I've been really, really good. I'll be back on Boxing Day and I hope you've delivered. Thank you.